Hi, I'm Yusuf. In this video, I will tell you about counter sinking. Our tool is a counter sink. Its diameter is 6.5, 16.5. Uh, if you change tip diameter, you get a tool like this. But it doesn't change the cam, actually. I click OK. Uh, the counter sinking operation must be in program folder uh, for for this work. We choose specify feature uh, geometry, and we can choose the chamfers individually. But it will take too much time, so we can choose it like this. These chamfers looks good, but uh, this don't look good uh, because we didn't drill them. Uh, if you remember, they were uh, threads. That was metric 10 threads and that was metric 12 threads. And uh, we must drill them first. We choose 8.5 for metric 10. We click generate. And we drill with 10.2 for metric 12. Counter sinking must be uh, after them because the IPV works here. Now, if we look at the feature geometry, we can see a better uh, visualization. If we look at chamfers, the diameter and countersink diameter is always different in uh, all uh, holes. But we have just one counters countersinking tool. Uh, so the uh, tool pads must be different for each holes. The Z distance must be different. Uh, but in uh, uh, the countersink operation does this as you see here it uh, can countersink different holes and different chamfers let's change the uh, It is uh, the second one, but we change it to first and we reorder it. So it starts from here, from this hole. And when we click generate, we get a more optimized order. Okay. If there isn't a chamfer in the geometry, can we chamfer it? We choose the hole. We can do it in a different uh, operation. We click create operation and counter sinking. Counter sink and workpiece. We choose the geometry and it uh, finds the diameter and uh, it gives it a counter sink diameter, but we can change it if we want. We can click to uh, 11 or 11.5 
and we click generates we can do it for this bigger hole we choose it and uh, it is 16.5 but if we want to change it we will have an alert because our tools maximum diameter is 6.5 so if we change if we uh, get a bigger tool we can change the diameter or 17.5 and we click generate okay uh, we can verify the whole operations part outline specify vector we can see the chamfers we forgot it uh, we can see the chamfers but uh, we can't see these chamfers because in 3d dynamic it is they are not seen in 2d dynamic we can see them As you can see, the uh, countersinks are down, and we can see it in 3D dynamic if there isn't a chamfer geometry on the hole. It is all for countersink operation. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or advices, please write on comments.